I'm in the United Nations in Vienna, but you won't find any diplomats down here. Rather, isotope hydrologists, and they're working to unlock water's hidden code. It's helping countries around the world to better manage and protect fresh water. Like in Machfeld, Lower Austria, the harvest is almost over, but it's left behind groundwater polluted by fertilizers. This is one of the main crop regions in the country. Now it's feared a buildup of fertilizers could contaminate the wells which local communities drink from. This is actually a very common problem around the world. Over the last several decades, we have increased the availability of food by using more fertilizers and more pesticides. But that has come at a cost. And the cost is that we have polluted the water below our feet that we use for drinking purposes. So now we need to figure out what can we do to prevent the pollution of this water and to clean up what we have. To do that, scientists from the International Atomic Energy Agency and Vienna University pump the underground water to the surface. These samples are the last in a two-year investigation at Markfeld to find out how old the water is and how it flows underground. Oh, the age of the groundwater is one very important parameter in order to determine how fast contaminants are flushed out of an aquifer. In case of a nitrate contamination, you want to know how long does it take to get rid of this contamination again, to have clean groundwater. Back at the lab, an isotope of water called tritium is analysed. Its natural radioactive decay product shows the samples are about 10 to 20 years old. Rainfall is replenishing the groundwater, but it will take one to two generations before the contamination is cleaned up naturally. Even then, some of the pollution will work its way into rivers. Armed with this knowledge, authorities can introduce countermeasures to prevent fertilizers seeping into the drinking water, like recycling the nitrate-laden water for irrigation and cutting back on fertilizers.